Welcome back to the channel, guys. Well, today's going to be a pretty exciting day. We are going to go get, pick up a, a new tractor. Um, yeah, I don't really want to say too much before, so I don't ruin it, but we're getting ready to go over and going to get the, get my buddy, and then we're going to go over to my other friend's house and get in his truck and trailer and head up to uh, Mound City. Missouri, which is going to be four or five-ish hours away from here. So, so I hope you guys are ready and hope you're excited and let's get this day kicked off right. Well, guys, we got the new tractor loaded. It's been about a four-hour trip to come up and get it. We stopped and met uh, Brian Rammel at a uh, gas station here in a Oh, just past Kansas City. And they were heading to a pole, and we met them on the way. So here's the new tractor of John Deere G. So, so we still have like three, three more hours to go until we get back to Springfield, Missouri, and we'll get her unloaded off my buddy's truck and trailer, and on to hours and get it put up for the night so so back on the road we go there's some more parts we got for it well guys we just stopped in outside of kansas city i think and had a flying j they had a uh, denny's so we stopped and got some dinner and now we're gonna get back on the road and try to get home so stay tuned we got a unload the tractor and get it put up so it's going to be a late night it is the next day we made it back to uh, to the house with the tractor it was it was late it was dark and i really didn't feel like filming too much so so we i think where i ended up ended off was we were at <clears throat> that that gas station stopped and ate ate dinner but uh so now we're back home and we're gonna get this thing unloaded it's still on the trailer so we took my buddy my friends friends truck and trailer up there and then we just switched switched the tractor over to our trailer our old dodge it probably would have made the trip but it's got five hundred thousand miles on it so we don't like to take it too far but yeah so let's get get this thing unloaded and go from there one bad thing that's gonna have to change this thing is super wide but all right let's see if i can find somewhere oh can't see that stuff it's top secret let's see if i can put you guys somewhere there that looks nice and we'll get her off the trailer
so we got the A. A. G. We got the G. That's going to take some getting used to. Load it up or put in the barn. So now we need to get uh, my weight brackets, wheel and bars, and some other stuff loaded up and took down there and kind of start seeing how things fit. So let's get after it. And don't worry, I'll do all the work. So you guys don't have to do anything. So we got the wheelie bars and the weight brackets unloaded and kind of just sat up there to see how everything's going to work. I'm going to have to do a little bit of modifying to the hitch, but no big deal. Got this nice fiberglass cover that we'll put on that. And that'll make a big weight, weight difference. And really, other than that, well... What we might do, we're probably going to leave this, but later on we might come back and paint the frame rails and maybe the block, but we'll just have to see. So, all right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, you know, going up, getting it. A big thank you to my friend for driving us up there, and a uh, big thank you to Brian Rammel for setting me up with this G and getting me all these parts and some other goodies for it so yeah stay tuned um we're gonna start tearing into this very soon start getting stuff mounted and seeing how all that goes so yeah let me know what you guys think of the tractor and we'll see y'all on the next one